Hi everyone, I'm Matt Fieldhouse. Welcome to the Ruby Quick series. So, today we're going to talk about what does super do in Ruby. So let's create a new class which is a dog. And inside that class we're going to say what does a dog sound like. And the dog will say bark. So we can create a new dog called Fido. And we can say let's put what the sound Fido makes is. And change that to sound. There we go, so that's bark. So now we can create another class, which can be bulldog. That inherits from the parent class dog. So that means inside the bulldog class, we've got all of the methods which are in the parent class. So we can say that Fido is not a dog, but he's a bulldog and we can still say what is Fido's sound because this sound method has been inherited from the parent dog class. So now on to super we can create our own method inside the bulldog class and essentially overwrite what happens in the parent class. So we can say the bulldog actually goes yap. When we run the code it says yap. So super invokes the parent class behavior, or in other words, subclasses can invoke parent behavior via super. So if we're in the subclass Bulldog and we want to invoke the parent behavior of sound, we can say super, and then we can stick yap on the end of that, and we've got bark yap. So essentially what's happening there is Fido is a Bulldog, we say what's the sound that Fido makes, it runs the method inside the Bulldog class, it hits super, which says invoke the behavior of the parent class. We go up to the parent class, which is dog. It returns bark. And then it uses the plus sign to append some more text to bark. And then we get yap. So essentially we've got bark yap. And that is the sound that Fido makes, which is a bulldog. Cool. Thanks for watching.